Hello, Year 3. This is just a little video on how to use Chinese Writer for anyone that has forgotten. So if you are feeling confident with Chinese Writer, you don't need to watch the rest of this video. But if you're not sure how to use it, you're having some problems, um, or you were not at school when we did it, keep watching and I'll show you how to use it. It's actually pretty easy and quite a lot of fun. Alright, so we're going to click on Chinese Writer. It is the icon at the top of my screen there with the lantern on it. So I click on that and then this is the screen that comes up. So it's got a whole lot of blue folders, green folders. We're just going to be focusing on the blue, the first blue folder, HSK1. So if you've already been into this app guys, you will see the same as mine, HSK1A, and it's got a little bit of a yellow bar going across the bottom. That means I've I've accessed this before. If you have, click on that. If you haven't, you're going to click on HSK1. And in HSK1, HSK1 is just level 1 basically. You've got level 1A, 1B and 1C. Start with 1A, but later on if you feel confident and you want something different, you can have a look at 1B and 1C as well because we have access to all of those. Then we open it up and it shows me all the characters that are in this folder. And there's quite a lot of them. Lots of them we haven't learnt before. Some of them we have. We know these numbers. Uh, but there's quite a lot we don't know. The little yellow bar along the bottom of the characters, that tells me that I've already been into that character and I've practiced writing that before. So I'm going to pick one that I haven't done before on this app. I'm going to pick Ta, pa. ta for he for he. Pa. So you can see the little yellow button will tell you how to say it. And then down here it has got how to write it. So I'm just pressing on them so you can see them. And then I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to trace over. Mm -hmm. The yellow is me and the white is it telling me what the right stroke is. So I need to follow and do the correct stroke. Mm, now, which one goes next? Let me think. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. So if you do it wrong, mm -hmm. like I'm doing it now, mm -hmm. it will keep telling you, no, 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 no you've got to do this one until you do it right. Okay. And then if you want to do it again, you just start again and keep practicing until you're feeling pretty confident that you can do it correctly. When you've practiced a couple of different characters, go down to the very bottom of your screen. You don't have to scroll. I mean, just where you are. It's got a play now button. Clicking on that and it will take me to a game. Now I want 30 seconds. You want to make sure that it's set to tracing. See how there's tracing and writing. Writing is the harder version, which we're not up to yet. Let's just go with tracing. Include pronunciation, tests. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. And the character is falling down. Just click on the character. It will say it for you. I've got 22 seconds to try and write it all correctly. So if you make a mistake, it won't count. And if you do it the wrong way, like I'm trying to go to bottom to top instead of top to bottom, it won't like it. Cool. Cool. See? Okay, so you got to do it the correct way. <laughs> oh, oh, I missed the rocket. If you see a rocket, if you see a rocket, click on it because it will give you extra points. Now, if you know how a word is pronounced, if you know the pinyin for it, click on the pinyin shang, and it gives shang, you. Shang. <laughs> click on the pinyin and it will give you extra points. Mm -hmm. If you don't know it, don't click on it. Mm -hmm. nope. Too busy talking and not concentrating. Okay, so you get the general idea. The faster you write the character, the more points you will get. You can also pause the game. So if you need to go and do something, if mum's asked you to put your clothes away or clean your room, etc., you can pause it, go away and do something and come back and keep playing without losing your spot. Okay, if you want to end the game, 
I pause it and then it goes, there's a little button at the top that goes back and I can just go back. Okay. Have a great time, guys. I look forward to seeing you soon. Hope this has been helpful. 再见!